Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play A Link to the Past! Let's head on th into the Gargoyles Domain in the Outcast Village there. If you didn't do so earlier, you just pull on the, well, whatever the fork thing is called, and you can open up the entrance there, so pretty easy. Now this part, this dungeon though, inside is a little tricky, because you got the upper levels, the lower levels, they all kind of loop back in on themselves. I know I said stay away from me, man, skeleton, or Stalfos, but, uh, you know, I do want to kill you. Ha! There we go. Whoa! Actually, you know what? Let me show this off. Yeah, you touch one of those guys, it removes your moon pearl power for a little while. And then it comes back to normal. If only we had an item that could defeat them. But let's go grab all the items that we can get in here first. Whoa. Yeah, if they run into a wall, you'll be fine. That's usually how you would normally defeat them, but there is another way of doing that. So let's see if I can get that to work. First things first, pick up the compass. Nice that they give us these items relatively early. Let's get the magic powder out. Get out of my... There we go. Okay. Okay, that didn't work so well. I've heard that you can use the magic powder to kill those guys. Can't even open chests if there's a bunny. But in this chest, we get the big key. Okay, let's try that one again with the magic powder. I think they respawn. Okay. <sighs> let's try that again. Come on. Okay, I think you're just BSing me now, guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's uh, let's not do that again. If you can do it, you gotta have really damn good aim. Oh, well, that didn't work too well. Okay, well, anyway, let's just move on with this place. Whoa! Okay, you guys can move around. I, could, I suppose I could use my magic cape if I wanted to to avoid these guys, but nah. Let's take a look at our map here. Oh, the boss is right up ahead. Wow, that was easy. Ha ha. All right, it's nap boss time. Well, where's the boss? They said the boss was supposed to be in that room. Huh, well, that's weird. Well, let's move along and try to find somewhere else where the boss actually is. Huh, that's weird. But you do need to go up there in order to get the key for this door. Oh, and by the way, uh, I did spend a lot of my money off-screen to uh, max out my supply of arrows. Not that that's really important, but, well, it's there. And I'd also like to thank a lot of my viewers who suggested that I do, do sequence break these dungeons. I wasn't originally planning on it, but, well, enough people asked, I figured, well, sure, why not. Now, those little amoeba guy things, whatever, you gotta hit the core. Shoot the core! Well, hey, get back here. Get you next time. I gotta kill. Okay, I can do that. There we go. Hey, get over here. Why are you faded? Oh, that's weird. Okay, shoot. There we go. Now we can get through there easily enough. I don't wanna go up there just yet. Come on. There we are. This part's a little tricky. Reminds me of some Mega Man stages where you gotta avoid the spikes as you're falling down the pit. Ha! There we go. Ha ha! Now for this part... Huh, they just put the key right in the room. Why wouldn't you just, like, I don't know, lock it up or something? I don't know. But anyway... Oh! Okay. But yeah, uh, we can't do anything up here unless I drop the blue black, so let's go do that. Can I do that with my sword? Nope. Need to use the all-powerful boomerang! I'm surprised they didn't call it the magical boomerang in the menu there. Well, I suppose space limitations or something. Do not pull on that switch. Step on this. Switch. There we go. I was like, wait a minute, is that one of those switches where you gotta stay on it or put a block on it or something? No. Nah. I was like, wait a minute, there's no blacks around here. How am I supposed to... Yeah. Oh, this part. I remember this part. But yeah, like I was saying, I was originally planning on 
doing the dungeons in order. But, well, this dungeon has is pretty easy, actually, in my opinion. And you don't really need a lot of the special items from earlier dungeons to do this one. A lot of the other dungeons do, but not this one. Come to think of it, you really don't need those dungeon items, but, well, they're very useful. This dungeon, not so much. Other dungeons, yeah. I wonder if my magic cape can get me through this room. Let's give it a try, why not? Haha! -ha! He's not there anymore! Yeah, the enemies just go right through me. Ah, oh, screw these guys. Okay, you get to live for now. You gotta pay rent, though. Well. Now, those blocks in the center there, you can lift with... Well, you can just lift. I was gonna say something else, but, uh, no, nah, no. Nah. You can't move while lifting those really big blocks, so... Ha ha. Did... Hmm, I thought I heard a sound effect. It seemed a little weird. Nah. Well, I'm pretty much done... Well, no, I'm not quite done with the money, but... For the most part, I'm done. You pretty much only need, like, 100 rupees for the remainder of the game, really. Die, sucker. What the? It's a dead end. I'm not gonna go around and kill those guys. Yeah, you see how little magic that used? I'd be out of magic by now. Yeah, I could have picked up that magic bottle, but yeah, I didn't want to. Nuts. Well, that didn't work out so well. Let's try that one again. Whoa. How did... Whoa, whoa. Okay. Oh, uh, I need another key. Okay, we can go over this way first. Why not? I wanted to go the other way first, but no! Ha! Huh. There's a little dungeon here. Well. Oh, there's the maiden. Huh. I thought you guys were all uh, imprisoned in crystals. Huh. Well, that's weird. Well, let's get out of here then. Well. Well. Unfortunately, those guys are rather slow. Huh, and I didn't even need to get the dungeon item or anything to rescue her. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let's go grab this one first. And in this chest we get the Titan's Mitt. So, yeah, there are some... Those really dark stones... Yeah, or can I get around that? Yeah, those really dark stones that we couldn't lift up before? Now we can! And I've pretty much been in every room in the dungeon, so let's get out of here. I've rescued the maiden, so... Oh, can't do that while you're in the door there, so... Uh, what do you mean? Huh. She won't let me leave. Well, why is that? I thought you wanted me to rescue you. Hmm, that's weird. Well, let's try something else. Something's not right here. Well... There's a few other items that I could get with sequence breaking, but well, I don't want to do that just yet. I want to get items when they're well, more convenient to get. Let's see. Magic cape? Yeah, that ought to be good. Well, get out of there. There you go. What the? What's with the boss music? All right, it's boss time! Yeah, what you gotta do with this guy is... Well, yeah, that was Blind the Thief. Your hint was, well, whatever Zelda was telling you. So, yeah, don't fall for his tricks. But anyway, yeah, just hit the head. I will use my magic cape when I get lower on my health. Okay, now use it. I may end up having to show you what happens when you, uh... When I die. Yeah. Oops. Well, if you die, fortunately I have a fairy, and I don't think that'll affect my death count. I hope it doesn't. Unfortunately, unlike Ocarina of Time, you... Oh, come on! I was one hit away! Yeah, unlike Ocarina of Time, the fairies, they don't restore all your health. They only restore some of your health. Uh, seven hearts, to be precise. Or, what's that, eight? 
Huh, I thought they only restored seven, but they restored eight. Or did I pick up another heart at some point? Nah, whatever. But anyway, yeah, that's what happens when you die and you have a fairy. It automatically restores some of your health. I'd re-record, but... Nah, whatever. Probably could have gotten a little more health. Maybe get one of those anti-fairies or fire fairies or whatever. Oh. Well, what were those guys back at the castle there? Oh. How do you know that? She's psychic. They're all psychic. Either that or I can't, and this is all for nothing. But will the way of the hero lead to the power of gold, or will it only lead to the power of bronze? Find out next time on Let's Play A Link to the Past! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!